Hi guys, my name is Cornelia, but you can call me Corny, and my channel is Corny Co, which stands for Corny Community, where I like to share and start conversations and talk about things based around Japan, life, love, and travel, and all, all kinds of things we wanna chat about. It's all good, it's not just limited to Japan. I've already done like a tour before, about two years ago, but since then, I have a couple of tips to share with you and a few things that I've updated and changed. So hopefully this will be informative or interesting to you. Anyway, let's start. This is my front door. This is sticky paper. When I say, guys, this stuff is genius. It's from Daiso. I don't know if it's 100 or 200 parole. I've totally forgotten. But anyways, um, I brought this because when I go to the gym, I cannot see it. So I just stuck some cheap old lights from Daiso here so I can just turn it on and off. Little cubby thing, just open it like that and take out my mail so that's where they put the mail in. During the winter time it's good to seal all the cracks and crevices because it keeps the heat in. You can also buy these from Daiso, it's nice and spongy. So um, these are sticky and you just stick them down there but I might take them off or maybe not, I don't know. Okay so let's move from the door to the floor. This is the Gankan area and this is where you put your shoes um, and wipe your feet before you take them off and get up onto this platform here which is like inside my apartment. Here is the door where I keep all my shoes. I have not organized my shoes because I could not be arsed. I'm running out of space but whatever. Comfortably tucked away there which is nice. Let's move over to this side here. Look at this mess here. My coat hanger. I used to put it out by my wardrobe but I've just shoved it in the corner because it kind of like just keeps all the mess contained in one area. Here is my laundry basket and um, my fold out laundry basket and underneath all this mess and clutter is my washing machine. Ta-da! It's a decent size. Um, it gets the job done. Another little uh, tip is to buy these little hooks. Um, just be careful though because it can damage the side. I'm probably gonna have to pay for that later when I move out. You can tighten it and make it bigger and smaller and then it just clamps on like that. So if you do wanna get an apartment, try and get one of these babies. What this is is a monitor device. Um, it's got a camera in which is installed like just over the doorbell. So when someone pre presses the doorbell, it should go ping pong and then you this will automatically light up like this. I'm just pressing it here for demonstration purposes, but you can press this and see who's outside. You've got different settings here where you can just do it with or without the sound as well. So sometimes they can hear you, sometimes they can't. So let's open it up, turn this. It's got like a little lock feature, but I don't really use it because I lock myself in once. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, I brought a towel rack from Notori so you can hang it over the door. Make sure you do check the size because they all do vary. But this one's perfect for my door, which is fairly thick. But anyways, um, yeah, so hang up my towels and whatnot. And oh, let me just show you this. Let me, sh let me show you this little ugly, ugly sutton sutton. So old and tatty, but it's been traveling for, with me for like God knows how many years. So I kind of keep him around just because he's like a part of home. Um, the walls are just so, ugh, you know, ugly and like a dark ugly cream. I kind of wish it was white. Normal shower curtain that I got from Ikea because I wanted like a white kind of not so, not so crazy pattern. I don't know if you've noticed, but here in Japan, the baths are really super deep. You can fill it right up and like feel like you're kind of like in an onsen, I guess, or something like that. But I never really take a bath. I prefer showers. They're, actually, I should turn off the fan. Is it too noisy? Sorry, hold on. Let me turn off the fan real quick. The fan's here to let out um, any steam and stuff from when I'm showering. Some people say that they can dry their stuff in here, but mine's not powerful enough. Here we go again with the stickers from Nitori and I've gone and put the stickers all around here. So it kind of looks like it's been boarded off. There is the drain. Um, you Usually you should open that up and clean it out like every so often because it can gather gunk. I'm not gonna show you because I don't know what it looks like right now and I'm kind of scared. Here is my mat again. Um, the theme is blue. So this one is from Nitori. It's nice and cushiony. I can't remember the prices guys so I'm not gonna even bother try, but it's so soft. And this, uh, the first time I saw something like this was Back in England, where my sister, uh, Rumi, my sister's Rumi back in Liverpool, um, had one of these on a toilet seat. And I was like, how strange is that? But then you realize in Asia, especially, especially like uh, Japan, it gets really cold and you're very used, you get used to, you get acclimatized to like um, automatic and heated seats. So you get spoiled. So when you do sit on a, a toilet seat with no automatic feature, heating feature, um, it's good to get one of these and it's kind of fluffy. Um, this one is reusable from Notori, so you can wash it and 
yeah, you won't have any problems. And it automatically like peels and sticks, which is also a nice feature. Um, what else should I show you? Taps are normal and this kind of swivels out so I can either fill it like this or do my hair over here. This changes from shower to sink. We've got an ugly protruding light here, which I can't stand, but it gets the job done. So whatever, you can stay there, you can survive. Um, here, these are mag, Ugh. oh my God, they're very strong. Oh my God, sugar. Magnetic, so this is another good tip, guys. Things with magnets. Now, what you may not know is a lot of, um, at least the older apartments, may be magnetized. So this whole wall is magnetized. How nuts is that? And I've taken advantage of that. I might buy some more things to put on the wall, but this definitely saves a lot of space. So I'm pleased about that. I'm a collage. I love Gila Tama, so I'll just put that there to, for some decoration, but I might put something a bit more classy up later. Towel from Nitori. Mini cactus thingy from Daiso. Little tray thing from Daiso. That's it for the bathroom. I think there's nothing else to show you. Moving on. Here, another top tip is get some hooks. Um, there's not enough space for my 1K. It's so tiny, guys, and I haven't got much space to work with. So um, what I'm thinking about getting is some kind of like raised platform level thing where I can either drain off my um, plates and stuff like that and also just store whatever I need to out the way whenever I've finished cooking. Also, I'm thinking about getting a cover here to just um, like a chopping board drain cover, which is kind of like multi-purpose. That would be useful as well. This is quite useful just to hold my wet hold my sponges for when I'm doing my washing up and to hold my liquid. Sadly, I only I only have one hob, so it's very difficult for me to cook what I want. I have to kind of like, um, I have to be very strategic when cooking. The gas is actually inside here. Turn this little knob around here like this, and then I can switch on. There we go, and it's gas, it's not electrical, which is a shame. Um, Fun fact, guys, there's actually gas can canisters outside. I'll probably take a clip. And they come round now and again and like replenish the gas uh, tank stock, which is very bizarre. I've never seen that before, but I guess it's a Japanese thing. I like to kind of fairly keep things together. I've got this little draining rack here, but um, above, I like to keep all my seasonings and stuff together. Oh guys, do you know about the Raja? I had to make sure I bring that back home from England. But yeah, there's my spice um, area thing that's kind of contained. Daiso, yet again, genius. They're quite long and I just, I can just easily pull it in and pull it out and it's just nice and neat looking. Um, underneath is where the drain pipe is. This is not organized guys, it was, but uh, there's only so much I can do for you guys, man. I brought these plastic um, dividers again from Daiso just to kind of try and contain the mess, but I clean a lot and so, yeah, this is what it's become. The stickers on here are the same kind of decorational stickers that I've got on my front door as well. Um, I just feel like it just gives it a little bit of character. Um, I really like them, so I like using these. This one's a bit better done than the door, but uh, yeah, and oh yeah, and also this is a sticker too. Oh, I bet you didn't know guys. I did a good job on this one as well, I feel. So um, yeah, it just gives it a more homely feel. So these are all stickers, top tip. I found this interesting. I have some ports here, so I can actually charge stuff if I really want to. And I believe this one switches on the air con, the air con, not the air con, the fan which is up here. So when I'm cooking or someone comes around and starts smoking, I'll be like, switch that bish on and then it will just do its job. This one used to be a light, but the light's broken at the moment. I need to really change it, but I don't care about the light because I've already got the main light, so yeah. I brought this mat here. I think it's for children, you know, the soft play mats that's kind of spongy but it's wipeable and it doesn't really gather any like dirt or anything on it. So I thought, oh my God, it's the perfect color. It matches the cupboards and stuff. So I thought oh, that'll do. And I just bought um, six of these. They're 100 yen each from Daiso yet again. These tea towels um, are from Nitori. That's another place that I love to shop. So pretty, I love this pattern. The theme of my apartment right now is blue and gray. So I'll show you more in a second. I've got my little cubby hole here. This is where I put my trash. 
and like random bing bags and stuff that I don't need. And um, oh yeah, also my magnet. I like to keep little clip magnets. So if I've got any bills and stuff to pay, I just keep them together here so I can just get it done. And it's all in one contained area. And you guys, I just did some calligraphy with one of my students and this says Reiwa, which is the new era for Japan. So uh, let me know if you think that's any good. Here we have my trusty kettle. This is one of the first things that I brought here in Japan, a kettle, because you know, it's British. We can't live without having tea or some form of like hot liquid. So I'm glad I got this because it just serves so many different purposes and it was dead cheap. These coasters, which is like a marble effect and it's wooden. Um, I got these from Dice. So this is from, oh my God, I totally forgot. Where is it from? This is from Nitori. It was on sale and I just thought it was cute because it reminded me of the houses back in London. So yeah, I decided to put a plant in there and just make it like cutesy on top of my microwave. Microwave's normal, just stuff in there because I'm running out of space. Onto my fridge, more magnets. Now timer, this baby is like the best ever. I use her every day, my little kitty. And um, her tail, oh God don't die um her tail like folds out if i want it, it kind of bends a little bit but i'm not going to do that and it just holds my keys and my pasma which is like my rail pass to get around japan and my earphones this whiteboard magnetic whiteboard eraser do you want to look inside all right just random stuff like sauces to put on top of my yogurt yogurt sauce milk uh what else do we have salad stuff that i'm running out of water and that's it um, let's move down to the freezer. As I said, guys, it's 31 degrees at the moment, so I'm trying to get some cold drinks up in this bitch. So yeah, magnets are a girl's best friend. Let's move over to this side. Lo and behold, I have more magnets. These are my pens for writing my memos on here. And um, I've got more like memo thing. This is from Daiso. This is from Daiso. These are from Daiso. What I like to do is hold all my jewelry, like the small items that I tend to mix up and get lost. So you can see here, they're just magnetic and super strong guys. So you won't have any problems or trouble just like leaving them up here. And this, is like a mat this is a mat for when you're cooking you just plop this down and it protects the surfaces from the heat uh, I know this is weird, but I don't know if you've seen my video where I had to set up my oven. Uh, the fuse to the oven is actually on the lower ground, so I can't put it up on here as I originally wanted to. Another bin, my scales, I like to weigh myself from time to time. Just shoes, I like to hide out the area. Wigs are in here, and here is my lovely arrangement. Can you see me again? Hi again! Um, and <laughs> This is my like little homage to London and England uh, slash cactus. I don't know where I was going with this. This was from Tiger Tiger and this was from Notori again. Fun fact, this is a fake plant and this is not real water for the plant. This is actually for my hair. That works up, okay. So moving from this area to here, my lovely wardrobe. Let's have a look how it's, how is it looking right now? Compared to the first video, it's a mess. But um, yeah, just shove everything up there. I've got a portable like fold away um, ironing board, which is really handy and useful. And clothes, I brought these from Amazon. It's just the right size to fit inside my cupboards. I hate hanging up clothes with coat hangers. I don't like it. So I decided to get some drawers, pull out drawers instead. This is very typical for Japanese homes. These storages match the rest of the cupboards and stuff like that. And these are from uh, Daiso too. I think they cost a little bit more extra. Not every I think is 100 yen in Daiso. I think this was like 300 yen or something like that each. So I brought those to put my socks and stuff away. So these are where my clothes are. Bed stuff, clothes, slippers, stuff like that. And over there is like the place that we never venture because I just stuff all my crap away. I don't even know what's in there. And this side over here is where I put my big ass like suitcase. Say hello to Lum. Hi girl. Let's slide it back. For me, especially being a girl and like shopping endlessly, this is not enough, I need more space. Anyways, let's move on to this area here. We've got my sitting seat. This is a floor seat that folds out and it can lay out completely flat. Um, I brought this from Notori when I first got here because I didn't want anything too high. I've currently changed my mind, 
but it's good for other people that enjoy sitting on the floor and want some back support and it's nice when I film my uh, story time videos I sit here so I hope that's interesting sadly guys I can't take credit for this wall um, my landlord actually installed this on I don't know where it's from but I've seen something similar from Notori and Ikea where you can just put it on the wall and it's kind of soft as well it's actually got texture to it so I don't know how they did it but it feels amazing it's not real wood but it feels good these little hooks I brought from Daiso and these lights I got from Ikea so um, I think it's super cute and I can switch it on so it goes all across here and then over there it's like took to well and I just switch it on at night if I want it to look all cute with the fairy lights just got my exercise roller here the biggest <laughs> can I just show you real quick look at that guys this is like the biggest tub of eco gel I've ever seen in my life and I brought it back from home and I was like girl I ain't gonna keep importing I'm just gonna do a one and done here we've got a new plant that I got in my last vlog and this is from Notori it wasn't very expensive at all I actually remember the price of this it was around about 1800 or 1600 yen which isn't a lot at all that's like 15 quid um, or 14 quid which isn't a lot and this is my mini portable speaker from Bose I am not sponsored but like this is so powerful guys I love it I can blast it up I can carry it. it's portable it's waterproof I'd recommend to try and get one of these if you can afford it my laptop this is my desk for my laptop so when I want to edit I'll take it up and bring it over to my bed I'm gonna buy the um, wooden stool that matches this soon so I can just pull this out and just sit and plop myself here and edit for you guys shameless plug follow me on instagram guys anyways moving on down beneath we have um random stuff Narbe part for winter time uh, i've got my printer this is another one of the first purchases i ever made because when i teach um i don't always want to have to transfer files to the laptop that's given to me at school so i just like to print out like a master copy and then take it to the school um other people do go to lawson and stuff like that to print it out lawson is a convenience store by the way guys in japan so some people like to go there and just print it out for like 10 yen or whatever uh, but I don't I like to do it at home where I've got control and I can do it at any time this is my TV area so here I've got like stationary pens pencils uh, scissors things that I need access to when I'm making my lesson plans or just writing stuff in my diary this little thing I actually made myself I'm well proud I sat with my students and um, yeah made a bowl basically and then painted the bottom gold so how cute is that memories in here we've kind of like got a collection of lipsticks and lip balms and yeah just stuff i need because my lips always get dry this is a mini dehumidifier super cute and um, this was off amazon it really makes my apartment feel homely i feel like when you put greenery in i'm obsessed so yeah this tv came with the apartment i'm very lucky it's quite a nice decent sized tv so I, I don't really watch much stuff on it maybe the news or like uh food shows sometimes anime over here we have uh this di uh diffuser what, no what's it called is it called a diffuser oh, this is my favorite scent from um yankee candle and this one is christmas cookie the best smell ever if you really love vanilla scents then get this i'd recommend it, it just smells so sweet like you could eat the whole thing some fake flowers here that i brought from don't know where maybe ikea i can't remember they look kind of fairly real right oh yeah i totally forgot i stuck some of this down this is like a marble effect this is also from daiso so this didn't actually come with the the tv and stand and stuff and i just managed to line it up and put it down it looks super cool right 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 here's my diary paper stuff like that and in here is where i keep all of my vlogging slash uh gaming stuff so it's kind of like divided you can't see maybe you can't see probably but like yeah i brought these and divided it perfectly so everything has like a compartment and it's a bit more together because you know guys I, I vlog a lot so i need to have some organization in my life floor area is this oh this this rug i need to clean it's kind of dirty in one area so i've tried to cover it but it's so cute look at that pattern blue and i brought this on um Ali, was it Alibaba? Can't remember if it was Alibaba. What the hell's it called? This was from, oh crap, what's it called? It's the only one I've ever seen of its kind. So this is really special and I love this carpet because it matches. Moving on to my bed. Um, this throw was from Notori, I believe. It, the color matches this. So I was like, yeah, okay. It's kind of, it's almost matching it's not far guys not far this i brought from england uh, it's actually currently sold out in amazon japan but i kind of wanted a geometrical like 
feel to it and then i've got the matching cushion here all these are from notori so oh no that one's from dyser but these ones are from notori mini lamp stand because i'm too lazy to switch off the main lights and i like to like you know check my phone and stuff when i'm in bed winding down so i just switch that on and off and that's from notori also these are from dyser the same as the ones in my cupboard over there um and that's just to store my plushies and like random stuff that i might want to take out and use or put to decorate my bed so that stays there usually these are drawn for extra like privacy but as you can see i don't get very much guys because right out here is the freaking garden <laughs> and this my landlord loves to garden out here so when I'm naked and whatnot, he tends to get a glimpse, the lucky guy. And this slides open like that. And this is netting to protect you in the summertime when all the bugs want to try and get in and attack your face. Um, oh God, I've dropped a, I've clearly dropped something when I tried to hang out my washing. Here, I'm kind of working on, I want to put like um, some fake flowers here. So it looks like a mini garden, but I'm working on it guys, I'm working on it. And yeah, so this is the garden view outside my apartment which is kind of nice you guys there's a freaking earthquake just literally it's still shaking just as i'm recording oh my god i was so scared oh yeah that's another tip i guess <laughs> that's another thing guys please make sure that your stuff is like earthquake proof and that you've got nothing big everything's like clamped down and you know won't fall and stuff like that because sometimes the earthquakes can get pretty scary um i haven't even got my mic in i wasn't like i was literally gonna take a thumbnail um but glad that happened because then i can remind you guys um i think that's it oh um they say when earthquakes are happening to switch off your electrics and gas and stuff but i never really do it i might die one day but you know I never really do it, but that's what you're told to do. And another thing is to check what the protocol is. If there was an emergency, you know, in case of a flood or a fire or an earthquake, where do you go? What do you do? What's your emergency escape plan? So that's also something to think about when you do come to your apartment in Japan. Um, I don't feel like they tell enough of us here about that. Oh God, guys, that was freaking scary. I so I wasn't ready or prepared. Make sure you buy things that are earthquake proof when you're looking for an apartment make sure that the material that it's made out of is sturdy i know that might seem like a no-brainer but like concrete houses opposed to like wooden houses would be better and uh, the price might be higher but check the material of what your apartment is made out of because that might depend on your survival and we don't want to die in a foreign country guys let's let's face it up here is my ac with my remote holder here um try not to switch it on try and hold on guys because the prices go up when it comes to electricity in the winter and summertime so just try and hold on for as long as you can some people do recommend to buy fans because acs are so much more expensive i've got more lights here um from ikea from ikea so same thing it kind of hides down behind there and i switch it on when i want a bit of nighttime cuteness i won't go too close guys because then it will ruin the illusion but basically what i did is i took the same kind of um sticky uh tape stuff from here which is like a marble effect and stuck it on the rim around here so it was white because i wanted a white one and i couldn't find one from notori i think i might end up purchasing a bigger mirror just because hello i can see more of myself because i'm a big bitch oh my god i think we're done you really enjoyed my tour of my tiny 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 Japanese 1k apartment and hopefully this will give you some hints and tips on what to do and if you've enjoyed being nosy and looking at my apartment don't forget to subscribe because I have more content for you coming up guys and follow me on my Instagram I've already plugged before but follow me on my Instagram because I like to post pictures there and stories for your entertainment and mine because I get bored hello and um yeah Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, fight up, gambate, peace and love. <laughs>